Happy weekend, oil traders. It is Sunday, September 10th at 5.33 p.m. Eastern Time. We're just shy of, uh, or just less than half an hour away from the Asian market open um, on the weekend here. And I thought we'd take a look back at the week of September 4th through the 8th, 2017, which was, well, a big fake out um, against the bears. Uh, we start, we end the week where we started the week at about uh, 47 and a half. Um, we uh, started a little lower than that and we touched a little lower than that on Friday but ended pretty much where we started. Um, we climbed on the first two days of, uh, or the second and third days of the week. Um, the first uh, Monday was uh, a holiday and uh, the fifth and sixth we basically climbed. Um, and as we climbed I bought short. I bought short at um, 48.60 and then again at 49.20 um, although I did miss the high of uh, 49.41 we just kept on pushing higher and there started to be talk of you know 50 plus and I was a believer that we could very well see that keep in mind that I do have a, a, uh, a short position um, excuse me a long position at a crude price of 52 so I wouldn't mind seeing a a higher price of crude to give me an exit on that uh, short position or excuse me long position uh, which is now 144 days old so it is ridiculously old and it's a I think it's the longest hold that I've ever had um, it's very well into the red unfortunately and it will probably stay there for quite a while more um, and uh, so yeah, so basically I started buying short expecting the drop. Um, I didn't think that we were going to get such a drop so soon, but there you have it. On uh, Thursday, which was Newsday, EIA News came out and basically confirmed expectations. We had a, um, a relatively big build, um, but I guess because it met expectations, um, nothing happened. Uh, it was a really, really low volatility news day on Thursday um, and there was nothing to do. I, I didn't, my positions were such that I didn't have a real, a really good profitable exit on anything. Um, so I just kind of waited and Friday was the day. It was probably the most active day for me in 2017 thus far with um, a sale of two short positions and a purchase of two long positions as we dropped from a high of 49 12 to a low of 47 27 unbelievable uh, when we paused here um, just above 48 um, I bought what looked to be a pretty good uh, short uh, short position a pretty good long position at a price of 4805 but then of course we dropped yet again and I bought yet again at a price of 4739 which actually ended up being pretty good actually um, just about a dime off of the lows and uh, well under where we finished the week. Um, so that's already in the money as you can see if we flip over to uh, my portfolio page it's just barely in the money here with a 0.81% um, profit thus far $121 if I were to sell it which I didn't um, and uh, yeah so that was very active um, to be able to sell and to buy uh, the opposing uh, positions on a single day morning and afternoon um, and it was really exciting for me in particular because it was an opportunity to start implementing uh, my more active trading approach kind of a tweak to the approach that I have been using for the past um, 13 months or so uh, keep in mind on tradingjournal.ca you can review my trade history and performance. So if we flip over to the performance table here and go to the inception, you can see it goes back to February of uh, 2018, uh, excuse me, tw uh, February of 2016, um, all the way to the present. And uh, it's been pretty steady uh, returns. Um, you can view individual trades um, on the, uh, the main homepage here and just scroll through the pages if you're interested in the details. Each one I've tried to include um, notes on exactly what I did, why I did it, that sort of stuff. Um, you can view the history of the uh, ETF as well as the individual days trading charts um, with markers for where I bought and or sold. 
Uh, so, for the week ahead, what am I thinking? Well, I'm thinking that it might go either up or it might go down. Um, your guess is as good as mine. It's 50-50, as I say, pretty much every day of the week. And on Sunday, when Asian markets open. So, um, I've got those two long positions that I've now purchased in addition to the 52 that's way, way up there. Um, so if we do climb back up, I'm going to be looking at exiting those. If we drop, I've got a short at 47.10, which will be in the money shortly, it appears at least. So basically, if as long as we get a pretty decent sized move in either direction, I'm pretty happy. Now, that being said, um, with my more active approach to my trading, I'm looking to hedge positions before exiting them. So what, that, what I mean by that is even though I've got a long position now that is in the money, the long position was purchased at, on Friday at 47.39, we're sitting at 47.55. If we were to climb to, for example, 47.80 or higher, $48, for example, I wouldn't actually exit that long position just yet, but rather purchase another short position to hedge that long. And my thinking in general, um, although I'm still kind of tweaking this whole idea is to hold on to positions a little bit longer um, and protect myself against bigger moves um, such as in a runaway market. Uh, as you guys know, if you take a look at the, uh, the, the one year chart, we've got some ridiculously big moves where it moves um, you know, $8 or something in one particular direction. Um, and that's pretty scary playing the way I play the market because it could end up situating me in, in, a, in a position where I've got just accumulating positions. For example, if it's climbing, I'm just gonna be accumulating short positions one after another, and it's going to be basically just more and more unrealized uh, loss holdings. So by playing this hedging approach, I'm not only trying to make larger um, profits on individual exits by holding them longer and hopefully profiting from bigger swings, but also protecting myself against those kind of unforeseen dramatic moves where we go five dollars in one direction, for example. Um, so that's my thinking. Um, time will tell whether this tweak to the approach pays off or not, but that's what I'm going to be trying for the next few months or so. Um, certainly on Friday, those uh, uh, smaller and more rapid entries paid off. Um, we'll see how it works out over the long haul. Let me know. Go, let me know how you guys did this past week and what your thoughts are on the week ahead. You can hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on TradingJournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. Um, here, for example, is the results page where you can see the purchases here on September 5th and the sale on Friday, September 8th. Um, it was a two and a half or two hour, 16 hour, two day, 16 hour hold um, for a total average return of 4.27% or $1,505.26. Until then, I'll check back in with you guys ahead of Monday's trading session at or before 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Good luck and cheers.